And also for this Veterans Day, I've got some suggestions of some new movies that have come out that salute those who have served. How do we do our jobs and stay safe? Respect keeps us safe. I wouldn't trade this for anything. Look at us, band of brothers. There is the movie called The Outpost, a military thriller based on the best-selling book about a tiny unit of U.S. soldiers in Afghanistan fighting the Taliban in the famous Battle of Kamdesh. Scott Eastwood and uh, uh, Caleb Landry Jones star. You're not the person that you used to be. I can't remember things driving home. I don't know where I'm at. Five years I've driven that route every day. All of a sudden you look up, you don't know where you're at. There's also the documentary called Quiet Explosions Healing the Brain. A look at veterans, first responders, and also professional athletes who suffered traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress who have recovered from it all. This is an Amazon feature that's on DVD and also on demand. What is this exactly? That is a program that collected toys for all the kids in those villages. That's it. The toy drive. I am putting you in charge. And for some lighter fare, there is Welcome Home Christmas, a lifetime movie about a returning soldier who needs help adapting back into civilian life. Army counselor Chloe comes to the rescue and gets swept off her feet just in time for Christmas. There's something I have. I just feel sick all the time. Every time the phone rings, every time the doorbell goes. You may not need the choir, Lisa, but those women do. I'm also highly recommending the film called Military Wives, the true story of spouses and families of soldiers serving in Afghanistan. They live on a military base and form a choir to take their minds off of their very real life fears that they face every day. It's a thoughtful movie and funny and heartwarming and spotlights not only what the soldiers go through, but the sacrifices that their families make. You can see it on Hulu. We're gonna post all of these up on my page of the web for you, wgntv.com slash Dean's List. And coming up later this morning, I am cooking but I'll be cooking with Kristen Chenoweth. She's got her own YouTube cooking channel right now. We're gonna do kind of a virtual uh, cooking back and forth coming up a little bit later on this morning. Let's get a check of the weather now though.